Hey everybody, it's Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome. Check out this picture. This is a thing of beauty. It's a DCS Series 9 48 inch grill on cart with optional side shelves and optional wood inserts in said side shelves. That is some serious, serious equipment there. Very happy customers are going to be doing some very happy grilling over the holiday season. And uh, what can I say? Congratulations. We're big DCS fans here. I've been for years. We sell that product with the utmost confidence. As I look at the picture, though, I say to myself, you know, I was just thinking, what, what could be done? Nothing's perfect, right? So what could be done to make this product even better? And I decided to post this video, create this video, post it. And this is entitled this is what I would change on the DCS grill. And there's basically five, there are five points. Number one, this is what I would change on the DCS grills. I would absolutely get rid of that nonsensical charcoal insert that they sell with the Series 9 grill. It actually comes with it. Um, it is borderline um, useless. I have used it and I deemed it to be useless. It is too shallow. It is not a, um, um, a box uh, with any degree of depth to it like the alfresco. It is a pan. You are not fitting lump charcoal in it. You're at best probably fitting pieces of like little shrapnel sized pieces of wood like you get in those Weber uh, bags. Um, th this is nothing to tout in your literature or on the website in terms of, hey, you could do solid fuel cooking on this. Please just do away with it or don't even talk about it um, or just revise it so it actually could fit pieces of solid fuel like wood chunks or charcoal. So that's number one. Number two, they need to do something about the price of their carts. The uh, grill that you just saw, that cart, because remember, their grills, you, if you want a DCS carted grill, they don't sell it all in one, like Alfresco and Lynx do and pretty much everybody else. You need to buy the DCS grill head and the cart separately. That 48-inch cart, if I'm not mistaken, is about $28.99. That's, that's a lot of shekels over there for that. The 36-inch cart is, I believe, is about $24.99. And yes, I understand you're getting 10% back with the recent promo. It's a lot of money. What I said to them, and, and actually, let me take a step back. I brought this up and I've been countered by saying, hey, look at the cart. It's incredibly well tailored. There are drawers, soft clothes, etc. That's great. I don't want to spend $2,900, but you know, borderline $3,000 on a cart. Sorry. So what I recommended was that why don't they offer the cart with the drawers, keep it at that strat, you know, in that upper stratosphere price point, but why don't you come out with a cart that has doors? You already have access doors, multiple versions throughout the line. Go box them in and put the casters on the bottom and you have a cart with access doors and you could charge half. I don't even know what the price point would be, but it's certainly not gonna be $28.99 and $24.99 be significantly less money. They'd probably move more carded grills that way because definitely my experience has been when we have presented a freestanding grill to somebody and they saw what the price of the DCS grill plus cart was, there are definitely some customers who shied away and went in another direction. So again, the cart is very expensive. If you wanna keep it, that's fine, but can we at least offer something lower price that just has access doors and we'd all be happy. It is what it is. Number three, what I would change about the DCS grill are the way that the ceramic rods are housed inside the firebox. Um, if you take a look over here, this is not a DCS, this is a uh, alfresco. You can see that these briquettes are encased pretty tightly within this metal apparatus. They're not going anywhere, they're not shaking, and if something falls on here, they're going to pretty much hold form, burn off, it's all good. That's not the case with the DCS, okay? The DCS uses these cylindrical rods 
which when you shake it, they do move around, they break. Um, I recommend that when people want to clean the grill, I mean, I get asked this all the time, we take that um, sheet and we flip it and do a high heat burn. Now, if you do that with that, that there's no problem doing that with a, you know, with, with, with the Alfresco, um, even like with the Heston. But when you're working with the DCS, you need to be really careful because those rods are completely exposed, all right? And they break. And that's actually one of the reasons why they give you some extra ones to start off with. But I just think that they should rethink that the way the rods are housed inside that um, metal apparatus and they should do a better job securing it and uh, we would have less you know fewer broken rods there would be fewer service um, uh, queries and everybody would be happy um, are they going to do it i don't know i brought it up i've gotten some yeah i could buy that but nothing's happened so remember they're the only ones using rods everybody else that's on the ceramic tip is using briquettes and for the most part they're all nestled in there pretty securely they need to do a better job with that um that is number three and number four has to do with the ignition systems the ignition system for the series seven is different than the series nine the series nine is an electronic ignition okay it's got to be needs a plug right now the seven traditionally has been a battery powered ignition now the advantages of that or if you were to lose power or something like that um or you don't have power nearby that the grill could still light because it has a little battery in it but the problem is those batteries run out and for consumers it's a pain in the neck to find where the battery is to replace it to go out and buy a new one so unless dcs we're going to supply people with extra batteries and very clear instructions on where to find it and how to replace it why don't you just make both grills electric electronic ignition just plug the damn things and let them go number five um and this actually relates back to the cart um if you're buying a freestanding dcs grill um you have to buy three different things or you're likely going to buy three different things or maybe four you're buying a grill you're buying a cart you need a side shelf you got to buy that separately you got to buy a cover okay i'm sorry but at the price point that that cart comes in at they should absolutely absolutely include a side shelf it, it's i mean and again i've had customers that are just like you got to be kidding me the cart's twenty five hundred dollars or twenty nine hundred dollars and they're not, they're not including a side shelf so to me that's just i don't know you want to call it poor judgment whatever you need to include a shelf with a cart that, that it, that's that expensive and most people actually with those grills don't get two um side shelves because they're so wide they're 24 inches they're just massive and a lot of people have spatial issues on the deck or wherever this is going they use i mean i used to just use one side shelf it was so big i, I was good with that so again that's what i would do for i do this for you the people hopefully this helps you um, educate you further on the brand i am a big advocate i do love the brand i sell it with a smile it's a great brand reputable company and better service than like probably any manufacturer out there we'll get into that in a later video but for god's sakes there are definitely some things that could change on it to make it even better and that's what i want to see improvement continuous improvement friends that's it questions at rofgirls.com if you'd like to chat come into the showroom it's warm and fuzzy it's all good uh call us email us love to meet you and chat with you thank you